Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ruby Tepsi. If you're new here, it's great to meet you. If you're old here, how you doing? In today's video, I made chocolate protein vegan brownies using my Isogenics protein powder, um, about half a banana, fourth a cup of sunflower butter, and some raw cacao, as well as a little bit of maple. Um, I made these brownies because I'm going to this happy, healthy hour little event on Tuesday evening, and there's usually not any treats I can eat, so I thought, why not just hop on the bandwagon, make my own dairy-free deliciousness and be snacking with the best of the crew. Uh, today's video I just made two for myself because I actually just wanted a treat right now um, but I'm going to be making them again tomorrow night or Tuesday evening before I go for the group and I hope they like them but I also wanted to share the recipe with you because I know if you are looking for healthy snacks or maybe you yourself are vegan or maybe you're one of those people who love to put protein powder in any and everything this is one of those things for you so let's go right into my kitchen and make some vegan protein brownies mm, yum. <laughs> okay so I'm I'm making this recipe just half of the recipe because I'm just eating it for me to eat as a little treat because your girl's hungry. Um, so I'm just gonna use half a cup of banana. And then I'm gonna take this like bowl that's kind of flat. It's not like super curvy because then that way I can like really get a fork in it. Because you're not gonna wanna use like a green banana for this recipe. So I'm gonna assume this is half a cup of banana because it looks like it. <laughs> Mash our banana down. And now, my favorite thing to cook in. If you don't have a ninja, I recommend getting you a friend who gets you a ninja for Christmas because they save your life. It's a really good little cooking device. I use this for everything, for smoothie bowls, for avocado pudding, for vegan protein brownies, um, for smoothies. You can cut things in it. Like It's multi-versatile. We're going to just go ahead... I love how much of the soap is in the frame, but I'm doing a terrible job at this. I'm going to go ahead and add the banana. And now we're going to take our sunflower butter, and this is probably going to be messy. Honestly, I don't want to put it in this because this is just going to get full of sunflower butter. So I'm just going to put some scoops in. <laughs> In my very first guacamole video, I told you guys I'm not a professional. If you're still watching a year and a half later, newsflash, honey, nothing's changed. I'm not a professional. Okay, so honestly, I'm just going to take... That looks almost like a fourth of cup right here. I'm going to just... Can you guys see? I'm just do... Oh, I just spill it on my counter. Can you see that? So now we're going to take our raw cacao, a fourth a cup of this. This is the only thing we're not going to cut the recipe in half for, just because I like chocolate and you're going to want it to taste super yummy and super chocolatey, right? So we're going to go ahead and I suggest when buying cacao, I may or may not just spilt it all. I did. That is not quite a fourth a cup. When buying raw cacao, buy it out of the bulk section in the grocery store if your grocery store has a bulk section because um, like this is going to last me a bit. Like I don't use a ton of this stuff, but a whole bag of it, if I would have bought in the whole bag, was like 13 bucks for like a pouch of raw cacao. I went and got this and it was like four or five bucks. I actually need to look at the receipt. I'll insert the actual price right here right now. Uh, so now we're going to get our protein powder. My favorite, Isogenics. Um, Newsflash, I recipe tested this yesterday and it was really good. That's why I'm making them again today. So I already have like an open little packet. Um, I've kind of been eating a lot of treats recently, but I see, I mean, there probably is a problem with that. But I mean, when your treats is banana and sunflower butter, is it, is it that bad? So I'm just going to take a tablespoon of this because I know I have to make them tomorrow for real. So I'm not going to hog all the protein powder because I'm, I'm going to do a heaping, well, I'm going to do a tablespoon because I'm not trying to hog all the protein powder for the ones I have to make tomorrow. Now I'm gonna do one and a half because 
to should it actually be protein. I'm going to go ahead and take our maple syrup. Mine's in this big mason jar because um, I took it from my job at my old work. I worked at a juice bar and we used maple syrup. So before I left, I took a lot of things and this is one of them. So I'm just doing kind of like a splash. That was kind of more than a splash. I want a little more. I didn't say they were healthy. I said they were vegan and I said they were protein. Deal with it. Um, not that maple. Not that maple syrup's even that bad for you. It seriously just comes out of the tree. And if your only ingredient in maple syrup is maple syrup, then it's really good and um, low, it's like not processed. So if you were smarter than me, you would have preheated your oven since. I have an IQ of a six-year-old and a grandma with no memory. I didn't preheat the oven. <laughs> so, a uh, big start is at 350. So now, we have a mixture of everything. You're not really going to be able to see it. It's all in there. I also put the blade you can change the blade i put it to the like the dough blade so i'm just gonna go ahead put the lid on don't even need much mixing i'm just gonna do it one more time Oh my gosh, peep. Look at that, brownie batter. This is awesome because when I was recipe testing it yesterday, it did not look this good. And there's also, this was like way sticky. It like stuck to that thing I just pulled out. Okay, so now it's pretty thick. It's kind of all, you can see the glob. It's just kind of all one glob. Um, I'm going to get the, the brownie tins and clean this little mess up. And then I'll show me proportioning it and all of that. These guys don't rise either. They're going to be thick. Okay, so I just went ahead and added almonds and cinnamon. Okay, guys. We have... The brownie. I added a little cinnamon and almonds to it afterwards, but you should add it before it cooks so it sticks. Um, yeah, the almonds are just like falling off. But mm. They're really good. They're like nice and chocolatey. And a little fudgy almost. I did not chew that enough. Did you guys know you're supposed to chew your food like at least 32 times? Like 29 to 32 times to like to not to improve, to support you're supposed to chew your food to support proper digestion. Because when you don't chew your food enough, just big chunks of food go into your stomach and your stomach isn't adequate to handle that big of food. Your first level of digesting food is your teeth. You chew it and then your saliva breaks it down 
and then your stomach is supposed to be the third part and do the last steps so make sure you chew your food mm. How are you guys? Yeah. If you've ever had a cake in a mug, it reminds me of that, but like 12 times better. And it's also nice because um, one, it was only four, five ingredients. Two, it's not like in a mug. Like, that would be so irritating to me, eating this whole thing in a mug with a spoon. Like, I like the convenient little portable bite but they're really good. I can't wait to bring them to the Isogenics Happy Healthy Hour that I get to do with all my Isogenics friends. Um, go talk and support and be a community and hang out and just um, encourage each other to do good and be good and put good things into our body. And I cannot wait to surprise them with surprise. <laughs> I cannot wait to bring them these fun little treats that are yummy and delicious and healthy and good for you. But. Uh, this is gonna be the end of my YouTube video. If you guys watched all the way to the end, thank you so much. If you'd like to follow follow up with me when I'm not posting, you can go ahead and follow my Twitter at Ruby Tufty and my Snapchat at Ruby Tufty. Um, keep you up to date on all my gym stuff, you know, my, my healthy grass stuff, and all that good good stuff that I post when I'm not posting on YouTube. So go ahead and follow back. Okay, mommy loves you. Uh, that was. If you know, you know. If you're not joining the squad, then subscribe already. Goodness. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you.